with the count, man. Yeah. And we are live back in some ECFL action. You have a playoff hungry Ole Miss Rebels heading off against a huge competitor in this league, the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Dodger, what do you expect to see from this matchup? Yeah, I expect fully a last game, but uh, um, San Diego State playing well against Arizona and uh, beating them. It wasn't quite meant, but uh, I'm definitely interested to see how Ole Miss can play against a uh, top of like this team who can do number three deep to return. Yeah, hearing okay. it kind of like only heard like half of what you said, but Ole Miss last week as we are headed to kick off. Starting at the 27-yard line will be the Mountaineers. Number two team ranked in the nation between uh, Appalachian State and the number 11th ranked just one spot out of the playoffs, the Rebels. But we have a knocked up pass on the first play of the game. The Rage's first pass attempt of the game goes incomplete. Now on the throw, first down breaks a tackle. Jamar Carr with a 15-yard reception for a first down. That's fine, that's fine. Now, ready at the 41-yard line are the Mountaineers. Heading it off to the running back gets one yard. Davin Brewer with a one-yard run, second nine. Wide receiver in motion gets the end around, but loses two on the play. David Brewer gets tackled by Ulthros. Can't pronounce that last name, but still a great tackle for loss from Ulthros himself. As we have a third and long situation, eight minutes and two. Eight minutes left in the first quarter. Deep throw completed for a long gain in the goal territory. Jamar Carr with a 57-yard reception. Now around the 2-3 yard line are the Mountaineers. Two wide receivers on the left. Strong toss, but a huge toggle for loss. That would be from Jay Money. Second tackle of the day for him. Second goal at the five yard line. Five wide receivers and set on the throw incomplete from the race third and goal opportunity for the Mountaineers now on the pass and deflected by Bo Cannon 
Appalachian State only getting a field goal opportunity in this drive, making it a 3-0 lead over the Rebels. Really good defensive stop after that 57-yard catch, and it's officially a 3-0 lead on their behalf. On to return are the Rebels. Past the 20 yard line, not quite there at the 25, is George Johnson. Shinobi looking for a man, finds him for a three yard gain. Zylo zooms with the reception, the running back. Still able to get the ball out in pressure too. Impressive a read from Shinobi's behalf. Three for defense from the Mountaineers. Dump off to the running back who escapes a couple of missed tackles, but now third and short for the Rebels. On the run, first down and more for Zylo Zooms on an eight yard run, third and one. That makes it first and ten. And Dodger is back, people. Now on a fake handoff, Shinobi taking a lot of time to throw! Not quite there. Had an open man, just couldn't connect on that throw. That makes it second and ten. Two run two running backs besides Shinobi. Finds the man. Intercepted by the Appalachian State defense. Appalachian State getting the ball near around the 40, 40 yard line. Double tight, guys, double tight. Confusing read from Shinobi on that play. I can't quite hear Dodger. That'll make it second and four. Hon okay, so now on the dump off Hon, I'll try to reconnect if Dodger's right not I can't really hear him, so I'll just be back in the middle second. Okay, third and five for Appalachian State, dropping way back for a dump off to the running back, not quite there for first down, so Ole Miss with a stop after that turnover, forcing a punt. Now, whoa, uh, past the 20 yard line is George Johnson. First and 10 around the 24 yard line. Huge pass down in the red zone. John Smith with a 58 yard reception, setting up the Rebels in really good territory. Huge play for the Rebels there, giving them some momentum. Now handing it off to Zooms, loses four yards on that run. Now at the 21-yard line are the Rebels. Shinobi 
with Zooms right next to him, looking to pass and finds Zooms for a seven yard gain, third and seven coming up for the Rebels. Four wide receivers and set. Finds a man, George Johnson goes for nowhere though, fourth and six. Now on the field goal are the Rebels on a fourth and six situation. It is up and good. Tight game between the Mountaineers and Rebels midway through the first quarter. Three apiece. Now on to return past the 30 yard line is Mookie Rizzing. Now, handing it off to the running back who gets a first down stiff arming a man. David Brewer with the first down run. First and 10 now for the Mountaineers around the 47 yard line. Slipping back, waits to find a man who gets absolutely rocked like Britney Spears from that Spurs security guard, dang. Now, in midfield are the Mountaineers. Finding a man on the short route gets a first down, Amari Jones. That makes it first and ten. Jones, or Brewer gets mobbed up for a two yard gain. That makes it second and eight. At the 41 yard line, the Mountaineers looking to get a lead in this drive. Now on the scramble, sacked by the Rebels. Bo Cannon, last week's player of the game defensively, gets the sack. Now looking to throw, finds a man, touchdown, Appalachian Sp State, Elijah Nigma gets the touchdown, putting the Mountaineers up seven. Now on the kickoff, Appalachian State up seven, ten to three. George Johnson on the return gets it past the 25 yard line on a 29 yard return. Appalachian State having an interception earlier today, 78 yards allowed. Let's see what they could answer with in this drive alone. Now, toe tap to George Johnson, but only a three yard gain on the catch. Now, intercepted again, Jen Shinobi with a second interception. Now, Appalachian State at the 30 yard line. Mistake on his behalf, Shinobi.
can't really make passes like that when a man is all over the guy you're looking for. Now on the play action, tough catch, Elijah Nigma with a couple of men around him, but still gets seven yards. Appalachian State running off with momentum here in this drive. Finds an open man for a first down. Mookie Rising with a 13 yard catch. And they get it back off. David Brewer with a two yard run. Seven rushes, 23 yards on the day for him. Now getting the snap off, but Rizzing only gets one yard on the catch. Third and seven now for the Mountaineers. Either settle with a touchdown or a field goal here. And they get that. No, they don't, but they get a first and goal. They don't get the touchdown, though. Just in the one yard line. Ball back and running back down behind him with a wide receiver in motion. On the pass and incomplete. A little bit of a goal line formation that front side and touchdown David Brewer with the one yard run extends this Appalachian State lead to 14. Now it's officially a 17 to 3 lead from the Mountaineers almost over all Miss. And George Johnson to return the kick. Or not George Johnson, but still. Uh, yeah, it's still George Johnson. <laughs> Starting at the 23 yard line. Or not actually there. But throw away from Shinobi. At the 27 yard line though. Ending it off to Zooms. Who gets 3 yards on the run. 3rd in long range for the Rebels. If they want to be in this game they have to answer with something by the second quarter as the first quarter is nearing to an end. But they get a first down Ralph Rodriguez. Gets his first catch of the day for a first down. Shinobi finds a man for an out route. George Johnson gets a seven yard catch and that will likely end the first quarter. And that is your first quarter, folks. Appalachian State heading off with a huge margin to begin the game 17-3. to Stand tagged here, folks. This game is a must-watch. And now, starting off the second quarter, the Rebels are at the 45-yard line. First play of the quarter. First down and more for... Oh, a fumble picked up! But it goes out of bounds, still a reception for the Ole Miss Rebels. Bit of a scary and foolish play there though, ball carrying wise. Shinobi, deep pass! Nearly intercepted again by Mother Doom. Second and ten. 
Running back in motion. Finding a man who gets absolutely rocked. George Johnson gets an eight yard catch on that. Ole Miss being a little bit reckless to start today. Now Shinobi finds... No, actually incomplete. So fourth down for the Rebels getting a field goal. Pretty long field goal too. Raul goes around for 50 yards and it's no good. Ole Miss misses the field goal. Stays a 17 to 3 lead from Appalachian State. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike eight, Mike eight. Damn. Now on the handoff, trucks a man. Doesn't get the first down though, so close, second inches. Now on the handoff, finds an open room near midfield, 49 yard line, is David Brewer on the run. Back to Brewer. Gets a first down, missing a tackle. 13 yard run from Brewer. Had a touchdown earlier from the goal line. Now again to Brewer. Things just connecting between him for another first down, another 13 yard run. Strife has been all Brewer. Looks like another handoff to Brewer from what my eyes deceive, but it's not. It's a pass. Missed tackles from everywhere today from the Ole Miss Rebels defense. Jamar Carr gets seven yards, escaping a few of those tackles. Now another first down for David Brewer, his fourth or so of the drive. Back out, Brewer gets it for three yards, second and seven. Brewer has been on fire this drive. A lot of carries and a lot of first downs so far today, but particularly in this drive, particularly David Brewer with a four yard catch as well. Second reception for him alongside all of those carries. Third and three now. Must need stop for the Rebels. But the handoff and Brewer couldn't get quite there, and that is a third down stop from the Rebels, but still Appalachian State going for it. If they don't get a touchdown here, it's essentially a turnover. The handoff and Brewer goes nowhere. That's a turnover on downs for the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Great defense from Ole Miss. Now deep into their own field, the Rebels probably would hand it off to Zooms here. And they do. For a few yards on that gain, three yards. Now intercepted. Horrible mistake. Not quite a pick six though. Third interception from Shinobi. Oh boy. Blunt smoke with the interception. 
Just an awful mistake from Shinobi there. Especially when you're deep into your own territory, but I probably would have ran it there. This has been a long night for the Rebels. And it's not even the third quarter, but now a sack from D the Rage. Looks like I wouldn't particularly say carrying, but this defense on Ole Miss's side has definitely been doing its part while Ole Miss's offense has been quite disappointing. And Dodger, you're back. Now on the scramble, gets absolutely rocked there. Was that Bo Cannon? I'll assume so. Yeah, that was Bo Cannon, a hard hitter in this league. Third and goal at the four yard line. Now a touchdown for David Brewer, only extending this lead even more, 24 to three. Oh boy. Now the kick is up and good. Appalachian State up 21 before the half ending. Which is five minutes away from ending, particularly. But on to return is uh, George Johnson with a 21 yard return. A little bit of mistakes we've seen from this all Miss offense today had lost fumble on the first down earlier, three interceptions. Just not Shinobi's night, 10 for 17, 113 yards, no touchdowns thrown, but three interceptions. Guys, in there, hope that Shinobi's awareness could get much better throughout the season. But now, deep pass into App State territory is Ralph Rodriguez with a great catch for 30 plus yards. Now Zoom's in motion, finds Zoom's on a two-yard reception. Second and eight, though. Even a touchdown here would help the Rebels. Handing it off to Zoom, he escapes the tackle but only goes for a yard. Third and seven for the Rainbow Rebels. Back to Zooms. Doesn't quite get much. Fourth and five now for the Rebels. Might get it coming up. Do not want a field goal to happen in a situation like this again. But now a touchback. Appalachian State starting at their own 20 to start their drive. Heading it off, going backwards is Brewer, second and 12. Now sacked! Tyler Dietherage sacked for a loss of seven. Cody Hill with his first sack of the night. Going right through the ghost of an offensive lineman's body, he gets the sack. Man left, man left. Third and 19 deep at their own 11 yard line. Now, Elijah Nigma, six yard reception, 
three and now forced by the rebels. Would be a perfect time to block a punt, you know. But still, Appalachian State special teams is pretty tough to handle. What am I thinking? Almost on to return. 10 yard return for George Johnson. Back out to Zooms on what could potentially lose yards. Four yards lost on the reception. That makes it second and 14. Denobi throws it away, third and 14 now for Ole Miss, Mississippi, at their own, at Appalachian State's 46, 47, but now Shinobi to ha snap, short pass of three yards to Ferguson, fourth and 12 now. That makes it fourth and 12. The punt. Now, fumble, muff punt. Nearly a turnover, but Appalachian State couldn't quite get that punt through. What a mistake. Now they're into their own five. At their own three, particularly. Great setup, though, from the special teams. On the run, though, going back. No, not backwards, but a one-yard run for Brewer. At the four-yard line. On second and nine. Now taking a while to snap, running it to the fallback. Ben Bones gets four yards on the run, third and five. That'll make it third and five. Double tight, guys, double tight. Two down, two down. Right App State has converted half of their third down conversions today. They hand it off, and not quite another third down conversion. Almost timeout, fourth and one, now deep to punt. All through his war with a tackle. Less than 40 seconds left in the half. Decent field, bo field uh, position though for the Rebels on a pretty decent George Johnson return. You could probably run a few plays here before the half ends, but Shinobi get Zooms for, uh, no, not Zooms, Johnson, excuse me, for a four-yard gain. That makes it second and six. Nobi, no, couldn't get the first down, instead out bounds third and two, George Johnson on the reception. Now, on the triple option, going backwards, it zooms on a wild play. Great stop, though, from the state defense. Field goal unit out with 25 seconds remaining in the first half. Kick is up. And it's good. Almost finally gets another point on the board to cut it to an 18 point lead, 24 6. Outside of week one, Appalachian State has looked very promising and has definitely shown strength throughout the season. 
course, Ole Miss has been iffy, has had great games, some iffy ones and some close calls, but now this has been Ole Miss's biggest challenge yet. And so far, it's not been great for the Rebels. Now, first down, timeout for Appalachian State. Elijah Nigma, nine yard reception, nine seconds left in the first half. Second one. Now on the pass, finds a first down. Mookie racing with a one yard catch to get that. Six seconds left. Another timeout for Rap State, or not a timeout, that was a play before, but. Now, final play of the half. Sacked! And that'll end your half there, folks. Appalachian State running away with this one, 24-6 against the number 11 team of the country. Ole Miss, stay in tune. Now, through Nissan's pretty uh, cool car. Excuse me, got some highlights coming up. Now I've seen Jin Shinobi having some inconsistencies, but he's had some pretty good plays to George Johnson, but Appalachian State, their offense has been 10 times greater, but still, that Ole Miss defense has been really good today, having a ton of goal stops, red zone stops to that Mountaineers team shows that their offense has been a pretty big liability. Ole Miss having three more turnovers too and half the time of possession compared to Appalachian State. Now kickoff will be underway, and that was your Nissan halftime show, not a very good one. But now kickoff is set, and the second half is set to start now. Off a return to decent range are the Rebels. The Rebels having 160 yards a day compared to Appalachian State's 270. Shinobi looking to pass. Gets the man, John Smith. Finally getting some noise out there. Again, after that 57-yard catch earlier, gets another first down. Only his second reception of the day, though, surprisingly. Shinobi zooms over midfield. Great run after the catch for him though 18 yards had a little bit of a swing route there too able to get that or a wheel route you just can't tell yep that was a wheel route sacked Shinobi is sacked for a loss of 9 yards, and now TJ Blackman sets them back into their own territory. Escapes a ton of offensive linemen there. Now in motion would be John Smith. Dropping way back though just for a screen. Zooms escapes the man but only gets 4 yards on the reception. 3rd and 14, 3rd and very long. Now... Inter oh, not intercepted. So close, but now that's 
a huge stop from that Appalachian State defense. Weird throw though for Shinobi. I could have been an easy touchdown to the open man, but instead it's a near interception. But great! Oh, escapes a man, gets it out to the 30-yard line or so. Now, Brewer with a pretty good run for first down. That makes it first and ten. Now, a throw away from Githerage. Nearly at 200 passing yards today. Avon Brewer with a three yard run. Third and pretty long. Avon Brewer now with 22 attempts, having 100 yards on the day. Dropping way back. Escapes the man for a first down. How? Uki Rising with a 17 yard catch. Pretty bad tackling from Ole Miss there. First and ten now for Appalachian State at the 38 yard line. Looking to find a man, he does for a first down. That would be making Riz Mookie Rising again. First down. Now inside the 25 yard line are Appalachian State. But a throw away from Dietrich. Hiking it to Brewer who finds the set two yard line. Could have been a touchdown there, but. Ole Miss quickly caught up. Still a really good run for Brewer though. First and goal. Having one hell of a, g a day out there. Now touchdown for Ben Bones. Only getting more brutal for Ole Miss. The fullback gets his touchdown of his own. On to kickoff. App State up 25 now after that touchdown. Still on his feet, but George Johnson with a 25 yard return. Zooms fights with a man, but only gets a four-yard run out of that. Zooms having a bit of a troubling day. 1.4 yards on a carry. <laughs> Pressure escaped, but still a first down from Zylo Zooms on a nine-yard catch. On what could have been a sack two. Shinobi escapes it and finds Zooms, the running back, for a first down. Back to Zooms, escapes a man, gets behind one yard, so a tackle for loss by Reno Dobbins.
Now, dumping it off to the middle, third and inches on the Zim's 11 yard catch. Now, taking a lot of time to find Sims, who doesn't even get the first down, just stopped. Really good defensive stop on fourth and inches, though. I would have probably gone for it because they're in absolute territory, though, wouldn't you think? I'm probably talking to myself, but Jamar Carr steps out of bounds on the punt. Now on to throw to the middle, Mookie Risen gets a first down. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down, three down. Mike eight! Mike eight! Check out! Motion down! Motion down! Here we go, check him out! Check out! Check out! Check out! Check out! Bo Cannon deflects the, the pass and deflects the pass and now with his 9 tackles adds a deflection to his stats today. Second and 10 though. Pressure coming up but still stiff arms a man for a first down Amari Jones. Now looking for a deep pass, complete, now in the red zone, Elijah Nigma with the pass, the catch, 112 yards, what am I even saying? Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. My game, my game. Now a handoff to Brewer gets a nine yard nine yard run. My mouth is having full of it today. Can't even pronounce everything correctly, jeez. But Brewer having an excellent day. Brewer escapes the tackle and just so close to a touchdown, Brewer. Almost there, but didn't get it. Jalen King with the tackle. App State having a crap ton of runs today. They knew their game plan. Ben Bones gets a touchdown. His second touchdown of the day. Now that's 38-6 to lead from App State. If App State ever wanted to get... If Oh, Miss ever wanted to get into the playoffs. This is not how you play. They've been very weak offensively, and allowing 38 points doesn't do you much, too. But George Johnson, 26 yard return. Appalachian State been running the ball a lot, 429 total yards, 12 more first downs than Ole Miss. Pretty ugly game for Ole Miss. Now deep throw, complete to John Smith. He gets his third reception of the day. Now, Shinobi a throw, gets the throw away. Second 10 now for the Rebels with exactly three minutes left in this third quarter. Now it's sacked immediately for a loss of 10 yards. Third and 20 now. Rhino Dobbins with a sack. And things can only get worse for this Rebels defense. Their offensive line not there on that play. Hey, 
now another sack. Oh my goodness. King Maximus has fun on the party with his sack. Now, going through a fight with the man Jamar Carr with a six yard return. Now, tackle for loss on the reception, David Brewer. Second 14. Now a pass midfield, Jamar Carr with 10 yard reception, third and mid range opportunity. Flag on the field now. That would be against App State. Still third down. Third and nine, false start. Or so. Reminds me of a lot of things today, folks. So first down, though. App State. Jamar Carr with the first down. Now on to roll, finds the man for a first down, Jamar Carr with another catch. Now a man on the roll, or in motion I meant, but slides down. Now back out to throw. Not quite a first down for Amari Jones, third and one. That'll make it third and one. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Three down. One seventeen, one seventeen. Now not a first down and again. David Brewer goes nowhere. Absolutely smugged up by Bo Cannon, one of the hardest hitters in this league. Now field goal attempt. Absate wants to make it a 40 piece for them. It is going up and it's good. App State gets its 41st point of the game and now up 35 to Ole Miss as this game couldn't get any more toilet paper rough for the Rebels. <laughs> Now pass the 25 yard line, Johnson on the return. And near the end of the third quarter. Now almost intercepted again from Shinobi. That makes it second and ten. Now Shinobi picked off again! It's 
fourth interception today. Now that will end the third quarter, y'all. Type those fours into chat as we've had a pretty ugly game so far. And type those fours right dang now. Cody Hill having himself a day there with the little sack. Three sacks on the day, though. Wonderful performance from him. One of a few players showing up on that Ole Miss team. Third and 20 now for App State. Deep throw. Way too deep for Dietrich. Fourth and 20 now. That would be a punt for App State. Now a touchback, Rebels start the 20 yard line. Nobby on the pass, knocked up. State making some defensive noise today as well, allowing six points, allowing another incompletion from Shinobi. Now Shinobi trying to get a throw out. Picked off again. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry for any Ole Miss fan out there because this is just so sad. Now first down though for Brewer on the 12 yard run. 150 yards or just near there on the day for him. Now Brewer goes for two yards. Uh, Brewer 5.4 yards on average. War with the tackle, eighth tackle on the day for him. And with less than eight minutes left in the quarter, on the throw, looks like a first down again, Muzi Riz, Mookie Rizzing. The catch. And two yard reception for Elijah there. Second goal for the App State Mountaineers. At the five yard line, fullback and on the pass, scrambles but sacked for a loss of one yard, Jamison Price. That makes it 30 goal. Now back to throw and a touchdown. 48 points on the board for App State. Oh my goodness. And seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. Almost not much to do here. But just play mercy football. Number three, 
need to return. Now back on the return. Pretty dang good return for George Johnson, though, on the kickoff near the 30. Now, handing it off to Zooms gets two yards on that handoff there. That makes it second and eight. Now, Shinobi sacked again, third and 16 now for them. Now, Shinobi has been sacked quite a few times a day, and the third down conversions haven't been going for the Rebels. Two for 11 is just stinky. But on pressure, undergoing, could get first down two yards short, but on the 14 yard reception would be Zooms. That'll make it fourth and two. Now it's a punt. Pretty decent return though for Carr. 20 yards on the punt return. Ole Miss has had six sacks and seven hurries, but that hasn't been enough today as there's been a 42-point deficit. Ouch. Six sacks, though, that would normally be a lot for a team, but today it's just not the case. Wide open man in the red zone. That would be Amari Jones on the 42-yard reception. That makes it first and ten. First and 10 for App State at the 16 yard line. Now, escapes the sack, but another man comes through and gets that little sack for him. Ultheris War gets his first sack of the day, having heck of a night. Nine tackles, including two tackles for losses, adding on with that sack. Second and 19 for the Mountaineers. Back to throw. And third and 13 after the Ben Bones reception. Back to throw. Find screen and that is a first down for David Brewer on a third and long situation off the screen. That makes it first and goal. Quads, quads, quads. Quads 17, quads 3rd and goal at the 2 yard line Touchdown David Brewer only adding on to a multiple collection of touchdowns and that is a 50 piece for the Mountaineers and 55 to 6 7 touchdown deficit Johnson's in 
Kickoff return of 23 yards. Four minutes, 15 seconds left in this dreadful fourth quarter. Now Shinobi throws it incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Now Zooms goes nowhere on the catch. That brings up third and ten. Now a first down for Zylo Zooms the run back gets an eighteen yard reception on the route. No beyond to throw. Knocked up pass though. Ouch. Back to pass. Gets a swing route there for a loss of four yards on the reception. Third and 14. Zooms with 14 receptions for 83 yards today. Now, first down for John Smith, getting more action, gets 100 yard, 101 yards with four receptions today. Kenobi throws it out of bounds, 18th in completion for him today. Ole Miss fans very quiet right now as there is, there's literally no one in the stadium if they're down seven touchdowns. Slow for uh, forces the incompletion there though, third and long. Four for 14 on third down conversions are the Rainbow Rebels. Big pass though. Incomplete. Lester with a deflection. That'll make it fourth and ten. And punt unit coming out. And touchback. App State getting the ball at the twenty yard line. This game is essentially over, 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 over. Cody Hill having one heck of a game today. Three sacks, three tackles for losses, five tackles. Now, a nine-yard run, not enough for first down. David Brewer, 165 yards today with three touchdowns. Jalen King on the tackle. Two, less than 140 seconds left in this ball game for once. First down and much more. Oh my goodness, this is ugly and a touchdown heading out to end this ball game for David Brewer. He escapes a ton of tackles, gets 70 ones out of that. Oh my goodness, 60 piece now for the Rebel, for the Mountaineers. This is just insult to injury now. Oh my goodness, it's 62 to 6 now. With about two minutes left to go in this game. Number three, 
George Johnson with his tw with a 26 yard return, less than two minutes left in this game. Now, another sack, and who you guess, it's Xavier Banks with a sack. Had a tackle for loss and two tackles total today. Now, decent run for 10 yards, not quite there for first down though, would be Zooms. Now, Smith with a one yard reception, fourth and three though, and they're on to punt. Now on to return, Carr with a 7 yard return, 64 seconds left until we could finally go on to our day from this wonderful blowout from Appalachian State. Now Brewer gets 1 yard on the run, 2nd and 10, or 9. Now, handing it off to Brewer, six yards on the run, has had nearly 250 rushing yards today, and that'll end the ball game, folks. All Miss fans better drive safely back home. I know today was very disappointing, in honest respect to Appalachian State, number two in the nation, David Brewer. Player of the game, 243 yards, four touchdowns. Jeez Louise. Now, that would be your ball game, folks. And, uh, peace.